practice, I would, I would advise uh, junior faculty to be open-minded to, uh, to your colleagues, to your chair and to your colleagues. Um, it's, it's certainly within your academic freedom to do things um, the way that you think is best, but, um, but your colleagues have had more experience than you, and um, not everything that they do is, is going to be appealing to you. Um, but I would, I would advise that you look carefully at what every individual faculty member does well or what you think that they do well and, and model, um, model yourself after them. Develop a style that is the best of everybody um, rolled into one, rolled into you. <laughs> um, and, and at the same time maintain some of your own you know, personal um, identity. This job is very much about balance and, and trying to find balance between the three major things that we are expected to do, and that is teach, uh, do research, and um, be a good campus citizen. Finding that balance is, is different for everyone, um, but you really have to do that. Um, you can't let one thing, let's say uh, teaching, um, eat up all of your time because your research and your service and your personal life are going to suffer. Um, and at the end of the day, that is to say at the end of your probationary period when you go up for pro promotion and tenure, um, you're going to be evaluated on those three things. Um, did you meet the uh, criteria for uh, for research, um, was your teaching uh, acceptable or, or hopefully um, excellent, and did you um, show that you were a good campus citizen um, and contribute at the department and college level? So, finding that balance is key, and um, you know if it's not something that comes to you readily, ask others how they did it.